Nightingale is directed and written by Jennifer Kent, and it stars, I really don't want to get this wrong, Aisling Franciosi, or Franciosi, and Sam Claflin. It's set in 1825, and it follows the story of Claire, a young Irish convict woman, as she chases after a British officer through the Tasmanian wilderness. I really don't want to get into any more details than that, because I feel like the inciting incident that really kicks off the story of this film could be considered spoilers, and it's actually really impactful, and I think it's impactful if you don't know what it is going in. I've been a fan of Jennifer Kent for five years. She's the director and I believe writer of The Babadook, one of the best films of the 2000s and for sure one of the best horror films of the 2000s. I have been waiting so long for her next film. I'm so thankful it's finally here. This is a brutal, visceral, merciless and relentless story of revenge that Kent captures beautifully. I don't believe that there were any sets in this film. I do believe everything was shot on location and if it wasn't they really disguised it well. The atmosphere that the wilderness and these characters stuck in this wilderness creates throughout the film is magnificent. Throughout the film I was in the edge of my seat. I was white knuckled nervous for these characters. I won't call this a horror film, but it's very psychologically heavy. And Jennifer Kent doesn't hide anything. She makes you go through everything these characters go through. You feel the stretches of time in a good way that these characters spent in the forest, lost physically and mentally. You feel everything that life brings to them, wearing them down, making them go matter and matter. And not only does Jennifer Kent convey that through the story and her directing, but the performances are absolutely phenomenal. Aisling, who I don't believe I've seen her in anything before besides being Lyanna Stark in Game of Thrones, which was a quick scene. She's absolutely amazing in this film. I really do hope we see her in more stuff in the near future because what she brings to this film is a necessary innocence for this type of character and the descent into darkness that you need for a character like Claire to have that impact on you. And Aisley nailed it. Sam Claflin, who plays a British officer that Claire is going after, this dude has been proving how good of an actor he is, even though sometimes he's not in the best films. In this film, he's despicable. You hate him from the very beginning of this film. The first moment you have with him, I'm not going to say what happened, it's it's kind of the perfect way to make you hate a character. And what he does subsequently in the film is even worse. This is the type of guy you want to slap in the face. This is the type of guy that disgusts you to your core. And Kent just brings every ounce of it out and so does Claflin in his performance. And I really don't want to get this wrong but by Kali Ganambar, this is his first film I believe and his performance in here just shows how a great director, if he or she understands how to work with an actor and how to get a performance out of that person, they will nail it because this dude is incredible. I don't want to get into specifics, just you need to understand that this was a very rough time for everyone involved. Australia was being colonized around these times. There is turmoil on so many different levels in this film. There's the personal turmoil, there's the social turmoil, there's the cultural turmoil. All that feeds into the drama that is happening in this film and it gives into the heaviness that you feel. My only issue with this film, and we'll get now into my negatives, because it's an issue that encompasses a lot. Basically the third act, there's a point in this film, a key point in this film, that a character makes a decision that it doesn't feel like they would make that decision, at least in that moment in time. And after that decision, the film takes a route that feels almost unnecessary. And because of that, the third act feels like it drags out a little bit too long. I don't dislike many of the things that happen in the third act. I don't dislike at all the eventual conclusion that this film gets. It just feels like it takes an unnecessary 
side longer route to get to that conclusion, whereas we could have gotten to there earlier and still felt the same impact for the characters and for the story. I think Kent nails it in terms of direction. I just feel the third act needed at least one more rewrite to just adjust the edges of this film and not make it drag on so much. That's really my only problem, is pacing and certain directions as the film takes later on in the third act that I, of course, cannot get into. I'm giving The Nightingale a B+. Guys, what did you think of The Nightingale? If you have seen it, don't spoil anything in the comments below. I want people to be blown away, surprised, shocked at the film. And it is not an easy movie to watch. Just remember that. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'll be back with my Ma review finally. And so until then, stay beautiful, stay geeky. And if you haven't so yet, click the subscribe button and click the bell so we can be geeky united. <laughs>